Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to DIY our vortex controller. Um, it's for this uh, wave driver uh, modification. We have everything we need here. Uh, we have our wall wart. It's a nine volt. We have our relay uh, from Radio Shack, a part number 275-241. It's a 12 volt DC relay uh, that's uh, a single pole double throw. So we'll have uh, a contact that is normally closed, uh, which uh, fixes a problem we had before. Um, we have a length of wire uh, in order to, it's probably four inches long in order maybe a little longer four and a half or five uh, to hook the relay to the, the driver with. Um, we have our, our pump, uh, soldering iron, screwdriver, a little bit of solder, uh, and I have four little pieces of, um, of uh, uh, heat shrink. Off to the side I have a heat gun to shrink that with, a little bit of electrical tape. Um, <clears throat> this all uh, is, is really all we need to do this modification. Um, very simple, very quick, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we'll get started. I'm going to set some of the stuff I don't need kind of off to the side right now. Um, and what we'll do is is we'll start by um, getting everything ready for the Vortex pump, uh, for the Vortex controller. And we have our little relay here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hook the... Um, the two extra wires we have, I've already tinned them up, have a little, uh, already have them soldered. If you don't know how to solder, find somebody that does, that can help you with this. It'll be simple. Anybody can do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and, and get these uh, wires on here. And, and what we're going to do is we are going to use um, these two pins here. We're going to use this pin, this most outer pin here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, it may be kind of hard to see, uh, work, um, and I'll show a diagram of it later. But uh, we, we're going to use these two pins here, this most outer pin on this corner, and then this only. There's only one pin out here, and we'll show you what all that looks like when we're done. I'll have some photos that I'll post also. So what I'm going to start with is by hooking my little piece of wire to the two um, to the two ends, and uh, uh, Putting a little heat shrink on there and and, and that and such. Um, this extra pin here that I'm not going to use, um, I'm actually going to bend it down, uh, get it out of the way, um, because we don't want that sticking into something and shorting out or giving us a problem. Okay, uh, I don't think it'll focus that close. But we, we, you'll get the idea when I get done here. It'll take just a couple of seconds. I'm going to take my soldering iron. I'm going to, I'm going to tin the leads um, uh, on the uh, relay itself. Put a little bit of solder on each one of these. Help them to help them. You don't want to leave your. I've got kind of a hot iron here, so we don't want to leave those on there very long. Uh, it could, it could ruin them. So, uh, go ahead and put put your uh, heat shrink on here, on the ends of these wires here, and you can see that. If you're wondering what the tape on the outside of the edges of the frame of the uh, camera on the table are, that's just so I know uh, where to put my hands so that I'm not outside the view of the camera. Um, and let's see. I apologize for the poor video quality. Uh, it, uh, I'm no videographer at all. And okay, so now I have uh, two of the wires hooked up. So we've got we've got um, a wire hooked up to this most outside corner. There's two to there, and then and then there's one here. I'm going to go ahead and take my my uh, gun and um, my heat gun. I'm going to shrink that. You can. 